Hey guys, and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planet Fall with me, Time and Tactics. We are playing as the Vanguard, as you probably know by now. We have our three armies here, and we're going to be heading north pretty soon, because we have a colonizer here with William Civitz, our leader, and he's not in great shape, actually. 18 out of 70. Hmm. That's not great. Well, we'll start by bringing them down. I think what we want to do is we're going to bring them down here and take out this marauding army. We don't want uh, them to go down to Istan, our newest city. So let's bring him down here. It's going to take more than one turn. There he is. Okay, and he can uh, he can just wait there. He's done moving. Okay, Robert Park himself. Yep, head on down. How far can you get? Not that far. Okay, that's fine. Who else do we have? Well, we have a frontier policy. We already looked at that one last time, I think, right? That's one of the uh, society research we did. Frontier policies over here. Now we're picking up area surveillance. I want to pick up all the inexpensive ones first, I think. It's a good idea. And on the military side of things, we're eight turns away from getting Air Corps, which should give us access to the Vanguard gunship, which I would like to get my hands on to see what that can do. We have one more owl down here scouting out, but you know what? Let's head up with him as well here. And he can help out in the battle. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So that's William Civitz over here. Hmm. He has 18 out of 7. You have to think about that. Only 18 out of 7. That's not very much. And he's the one that has the... That spear, right? He's going to be rushing forward. We don't want him to do that if he is uh, low on health. Orders required for our engineer. You, know, you can wait there for a second. And then... We're waiting there. Okay. I think that's all we're going to do. We're going to wait with you. End the turn. And then let's see how we do here now. Now, he had 18 hit points, William Civitz. What does he have now? So he gained up to 24. Not very much, right? Hmm. Okay, let's bring him down here. He could very well die, right, if we send him in. And then Robert uh, can get over there. Let's do that. And then we have one more unit here. We'll send him down. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that's Robert still. There. We'll send him down. Oh, we can't go all the way down there. But there's five units here with William Civitz. You might as well join that, right? Okay, that's good. So now we're ready here. Now, we are not in great shape with William Civitz himself. What can I do? I don't think I can do anything for that right now, can I? He doesn't have any special ability here. Trying to think. Hang on one second. Okay, I looked around. I don't think I can do anything right now. But in the battle, what we can do is we can use our pug over here. It can use that healing charge. Let's do that maybe in the battle for William Civitz. In fact, what I may want to do is switch them around. Hmm. Well, it's too late for that now, I think. One thing I want to do, though, is to go to our um, quest here. And we want to deselect the... Which one is it? The Economist. It's done. One we're working on here is the Diplomat, actually. As you can see, we have signed a non-aggression pact with that other Vanguard faction. Remember that? The green one? And we now need to have peace with them for ten turns. So we can go ahead and put that on the board. Okay, that's good. I think that's all we need to do. So I think we can um, go ahead and take on these enemies over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, they're up first. All right, they're going to be moving in. These are the... <clears throat> we have to look and see exactly what they're called again, but uh, Liquid Flame. Yeah, they are the ones that can spit out fire, right? Let me just take a quick look at them. They're here. What do they have? Uh, they have a bonus here. Hmm. Fiery Infusion. Eight strength chance to cause burning. Okay. Thermal. And then four psionic resistance. Yeah, that's not going to do much for us, right? Thermal resistance there, yeah. Well, they have the Magma Spit, is it? Yeah, range of 5. Flame Jet right next to another enemy. Okay, that's going to be a lot of damage. We don't want them to get a chance to do this. And I need to play it out myself here because William Civitz is not in great shape. I don't want him to die. Now, he's sitting over here, isn't he? Yeah, he's right over there. We have a Colonizer here. It can fire. It has a weapon, right? Focus Laser Array. 18 damage, range 5. It's not bad. But we don't want to lose it, right, for sure. Where is my... There's the owl. Okay. If we send up the owl, I don't think these mega beetle babies are as dangerous, right? 
mm, as the uh, as the other units. Well, we could send him up here. He can do a spit as well, right? So let's send up the. Uh, let me see. If I can select him. If I go up here, let's do that, and we'll put, we'll add the uh, targeting field. That's what it, I was looking for. 100% there, and then we can get our um, troopers up there. And by the way, don't forget, we have now given, not William Civitz, but Robert Park, we gave him that special ability as a light unit commander. He's going to give a bonus to his units, not these. So we can put there. We'll put him on standby over there. Put a unit... Ah, I can't get up there. Okay, I'll put him here, I guess. Wait, we can go up here. No, I can't go up there. Okay, well... I want to be able to react and fire on them. There is my Wild Swift Beak. That can attack. That's a um, flanker, right? Yeah. If I take him... Now, if I go this way, I'm not going to be able to get around here at this. But we probably want to bring him up anyway. What if I bring him down here? That Mega Beetle... Mm, Mega Baby... Mega Beetle Baby is going to come in and spit on him, right? Hmm. Probably. But you know what? I'm going to bring him up here anyway. Let's do that. I'm going to see if I can come in and flank these units later on. Okay, what else do we have? We have William Civitz himself. I'm going to bring him back just... Well, leave him up here. 24 hit points. And then we'll bring up our... Call lines right behind him. Okay, that will take care of them. Here's our main unit. And I think, if you go look at these uh, troopers now... Infantry commander, yeah. So 10% extra damage because the commander is Robert Park. We don't get that bonus. Let me just double check that, actually. I haven't actually checked that. No, we don't get that. Okay, so it's only the units directly under his command. Makes sense. So they're over here. Um, they're all going to be coming rushing this way. And I think... What do we say about these... The Liquid Flame, Tier 1. Um, they have a range of 5 as well. Well, this is the one that has 5. Yeah, 5. And that's an air effect. Uh, line of Sight, uh, no, it's not. 9% chance, 9 damage, 5 range. We'll split up a little bit, I think, anyway, though. So they're over there. Uh, Robert is good. I like him with his weapon. And his weapon is not bad. If I send him up... I send him up here. He can still fire. Yeah, he's going to take a little bit of a hit. But before we do that, let's do our blur on him as well. There, and he can run up here. It seems like a pretty good spot. And then you put yourself on Overwatch. There, and the other ones can move up. I can't get this far. I can, but then I can't take get any prote protection. There's no protection here. There's no protection there. There is a little bit of protection. Um, hmm... He's a little bit far away, but okay, we'll put him here. Yeah, if they come close, they're going to take uh, a hit there. I think I can just move up my troopers a little bit here, even though they're not going to have protection. And they do get a bonus if they have protection, right? They have that extra, um, what is it, chance to hit. But um, it's still pretty good. Let's put him there, and then we'll move up these. So they get two shots. There, if they get into range there. Okay, and then him, he can go up here as well. All right, while Swift Beak is done, we'll put him on. Yeah, he can't do anything else, right? I mean, he can run, but does not do that. Defensive mode. And defensive mode, done. Wait a minute, we have one more. Oh, that's okay. We had one more coming in from behind here. Okay, we put one mark there. You know what? I'm going to go up all the way up here. And then we'll see if we can use him against the units as they advance towards our units. There, okay. He should be good there. End the turn. What are they going to do? Oh, they're running back. Oh, they're going to give damage to him. Range 5, remember that? Grace, not bad. Moving down. Okay, Robert got a hit. They're going to fire on that well swift big I'm hoping they won't make it. Oh, missed both of them. Okay, that's good. Are they actually going up to take that out? Hopefully not everybody. Missed both of them. Okay, that's yeah, going to be fine. I'm mainly playing this game uh, manual here because I'm worried about William Civitz, right? Six here. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, still, still okay. Can't complain. And Robert's going to take a hit now. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. That blur helps. 
Operations ready. Okay, now this is going to help us quite a bit, I think. 75% chance of laser rifle there. I think we're going to take that shot right now. Let's do it. I'm going to turn on the volume for myself a little bit here. Um, okay, so that's good. Our other units are far... Well, not too far behind. We can't quite reach, but I can run up here and get two shots fired at him. But then we're all bunched up over there. What about these? They can go up here and fire one shot and probably kill this beetle there. I would think they would be able to. The Wild Swift Week could come in, but it's not going to be a flanking attack, is it? Now, Robert, uh, or William Civit's over here. Where is he? Um, here. He has a run up there. He can do damage. Decent damage. 24, though. But then he would take a hit, probably. What if I use my Vanguard Owl here? We'll go up. Let's go up here and put a boost on, or a targeting field on him. I think I can reach, right? There we go. Targeted for two turns. Okay. We should be able to take him out. So if I now fire here, 95% uh, uh, chance. Okay. 95% is good. Let's just take that shot, right? All right, good. Good, solid, good hit, yep. Yeah. Um, and I could use my colonizer, couldn't I? Um, focus laser array is too short, only range five, right? But if I move him up just a little bit, ooh, they might attack him then. I don't like that. Um, he can't get around very easily here. He can't, he can reach and actually kill him. I think we'll do that. Let's take him out. All right, so we have Civets over here. He's standing over there, but I'm going to move him up here. Cover. Defend. And then we have this Vanguard Owl over here. I think we could put a mark on one of these units. Can I reach that now? I can. Let's do it. And then our Wild Swift Beak. Hmm. The way they have arranged themselves, though, means they are now forward. Uh, they're not, you know, it's not going to be easy to hit there. But I think I can I'll put him back here, and we'll see if we can uh, get him later. Okay, and the colonizer, I'm going to leave back there. I don't really want to do anything with him if I don't have to. They're going to stay back here. They're going to fire on him. I think he's still okay, though. That owl, 30 uh, left in vitality. Should be fine. These, though, hmm, there are three of them here. We did put a mark on this one, didn't we? What did we say? Targeted, yeah. So he's targeted now, which means we get 35% chance of hitting him this one here um I, did I take him out now if he dies now he's going to do damage on the unit next to him as well he has 14 hit points left so actually that's the one I want to fire on he's out of range what if I go up here and then fire even without I'm not in um, you know um, here uh, with a obstacle between me and him but it's still fine we're still going to get 85% chance let's go ahead and fire on that we can see an explosion here. There we go. Yeah, he took damage. The guy behind him. Can we take this one out, though? We have one unit here, one here, and one there. We could maybe do that. Out of no line of sight. I'm going to say out of range, but not quite. Hmm. Here, no line of sight, probably, yeah. And this one, out of range. If I move up here, I'd still get two shots. Let me do that. 95%, yeah. We got that 35% bonus from the targeting field. It's pretty good. Flanked. Oh, flanked. Yeah. Almost took him out. Um, here, if I move up behind him... No, I'm not going to be able to see through over that, I don't think. Maybe I will. You know, what if I go up here? Oh, I'm not going to be close enough. Oh, I am. Okay, just barely. So you can see over half cover there. But that's good. Enemy neutralized. And there's one more unit back here. If I go up here, then I can probably fire on him there, can't I? Might take damage, but it's only one unit, right? The other ones are too far away to help out. Let's fire that. One shot. Ah, great. Okay. That's all right. We'll take it. The pug is back here. I could run over to Civets and try to heal him. Is that reasonable? Hmm, 51. You know what? I might do it. We'll run over there anyway. We'll see. Maybe I can squeeze in a healing for him there. There we go. And you wait there. Colonizer, yeah, you can wait there as well. And that's it. Let's end our turn. What are they going to do? 
Yeah, they're gonna fire up there. Ooh, no, that's not good. We're gonna lose him. We could. Did not. Ooh, one hit point? One hit point left? Okay. Incendiary resisted? Okay, good. So that's fine. There's one there. But you know, it's just a one. It's not gonna do. Oh, 14 damage though. It's a lot. Okay. So we we're very, very lucky here. Do we have one left? Yeah, we have exactly one left. Well, you know what that means. We're gonna be heading out. And we'll survive to fight another day for this unit anyway. We all should take care of the rest. We should be able to dispatch them because there's only two left. There's actually... Yeah, there's two left here. Uh, this one. Oh, this one here. Oh, he comes back. He comes back, right, uh, from the dead. Wasn't that what it was? I forgot about that. Minor infection. Uh, yeah, brings it back to life. Okay, okay. So now if we kill him now, he's not going to do damage to this unit. Hmm. Uh, but we're going to take care of him anyway, right? We need to. This one we can kill, and we can kill this one as well. It doesn't really matter, does it? Although, maybe I want to use this unit back here, and the other one can run forward and try to take on them. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, he's going to be gone. There we go. Enemy neutralized. Good. So that's our unit in the back. The one in the front. Let's take him... Wait a minute. We have that. One more unit here. Can we reach? Yeah, we can reach that. Okay. Let's see if we can take him out. Flank. Okay, so Enemy now... Kill. This is one unit that we can flank, probably, and there's one over there as well. Can I reach, though? I am not sure I can. If I go up... Right now, this is our gun here. It can reach there. So we need two more hexes up. This won't do it. No. So I can go up here. Maybe I go up here, fire two shots. Flanked. Yeah. 55% though. Okay, good. I mean, that's solid. That's a good hit. So he needs one more good hit before we take him out. Robert, you can reach, right, if you go up here. You cannot reach. And if I go one more... Hmm. Okay, so that is a waste. This trooper as well. I can get up here. Maybe I can see him from there. Maybe I can reach there. I think I can, probably. Yeah, I can. Let's see if we can take him out. No. Ugh. Okay. Needed one more hit. Okay, well... It should be fine. We have the flanker here. Can't reach, but... William Civitz. Hmm, that's right. You know what, though? We'll take him here and move up. And then we'll heal. Civitz. 25. Oh, that's good. 49 now. I could almost... No, I can't reach. That's right. Okay, there is our owl. They were pretty powerful. A shot is not bad. Nine, but it's repeating, you know? Can I reach? Can I select them? There. There's the owl. So it's repeating, right? Laser repeater. Yeah. Nine. Nine damage. Uh, if I go up there, I could very well take him out. And then we send up somebody else to take out the other one. And I misclicked. Okay, so we're not going to send him up there, I guess. We're going to take the trooper instead. And uh, if we go down here. Yeah, can I reach? No sight. No line sight. 50% chance. Well, that's worth it. 50% chance, right? We just need any shot at all. Missed. Okay, three shots. Missed. Oh, come on. No, two shots. That's right. He ran up. Mm. All right. Never mind. Um, can I reach with... No, I can't. Well, that's very unfortunate here. He's going to be too far away, isn't he? He is too far away and no line of sight there. I can't do anything. And this unit... I'm not going to be able to see. Hmm. I misclicked there. What if I go up here? What if I go up here? Can I reach? No, I can't. Out of range. Okay. Well, never mind. We'll wait with him then. In my call nice, I'm going to wait with as well. Civets will run up here just in case we have to use him. And the Wild Swift Beak. Run up with him as well. Just in this general area. There are two of them there. Um, Robert here can't get through, right? We said he cannot... Can he? No, he can't get... We well, can get through, but he can't do anything. Out of moves. Colonizer. Done. And this one, yeah, we're not going to do anything. We're going to be leaving him there. 
Safe? Okay, well, there's two units left. Unit Let's see what they do. Unit destroyed. Do we lose one unit? Wall Swift Beak. Okay. We're gonna fire here on who? Burning. Okay, we lost one unit. Oh! Did we lose... Did we lose the owl? Back here? Mm, we lost that one owl. Okay. I was taking continuous damage, I guess. That's unfortunate. I was counting on not losing anybody. But you know what? That's, you can't win them all, right? Now, he is facing this way. So using this wall switch big now is not good. But if we come in here... What if I go here? With William Civets. Hmm, I forgot. I'm running through zone of control. Okay. Now he's turning this way if I attack him. Let's go ahead and do that. Enemy eliminated. Okay, I was going to say, once we attack him, he would turn to face William Civets, and then we can use the wall swift pick. Didn't need to. It's fine. Uh, where's the other unit? Right over there. We'll run out down here. And we'll attack... Enemy destroyed. There, one left. I could barely see him, actually. Okay, good. Our forces are victorious. Victorious, but unfortunately we lost a unit, didn't we? We did lose a unit in this one there. Yeah, we did. Hmm. Novice. Okay. That's good. That's fine. I mean, we still good, did good, I think. What do we get? Tactical repair rig. Okay, what does that do? Repeating. I like those. 100%. Hmm. Okay, repair. Three range. Heal target cyborg or mechanical unit. So like our owls and bug. For seven. Or engineer, maybe? No, probably not the engineer. For seven vitality for each action point used during the heal. If we use three of them, 21, I guess? Use once per battle. So that's a mod, a defensive mod we can put on somebody who can then use that. Um, So we could probably use that on the pug, right? Oh, no. Can only be applied to hero units. So we got to have a hero... That needs that. That can use that. A defensive style hero. And right now, William Civet's running up. He's going to be attacking close combat. Not defensive. Robert Park. Mm, he's a ranged unit, but he's not really defensive. What else do we get? Production of 69. I think we'll take the reward and we'll keep that repair rig. We could use it now. Let me see if I remember how to do that. Yeah, mod here. There it is. Tactical aid rig and repair. Let me just see that. Oh, yeah. So aid is for regular units and for... Mechanical, you want this one. So we could have a unit that does that. The hero, but... And we have three slots, so we could put him on. Robert here, for instance. But then he's going to be running behind the lines and kind of giving healing and stuff. I want him to fire with his weapon, right? I think I want to do that instead. I don't want to give him to William Civet. So we'll wait for our next hero, maybe, right? So orders required. Um, You're sitting there. That's fine. And end the turn. Okay, we took them out. Now it's time to move north. And we have some activity here. What happened? Oh, oh, our ally. He complimented us. Don't give up yet. This isn't over. You could still race in the ranks of this world. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, That's fine. I like it. Yeah, it's good. Close that. Okay, what else do we have? Zecto insulted us. Communication. Yeah, we know that. Right, he hates us. But he is... Declare with normal Casabelli. 6 to 10 negative modifier, I guess, there. Yeah. We're not going to do that. We don't need to. I don't want to go into war just yet. Here's our engineer. We're going to wait with him there till everybody else comes. Orders required for William Civets. Yep, we know that. We produce standard military infrastructure in Production instant. And ready. that's where we are increasing our mil militia power, right? I think it was, anyway. So if we go back in uh, here... Yeah, this one. Upgrades the uh, colony militia army yeah good so now we have i guess what do we get now oh the assault bike yeah good let's keep that um uh, because we did give them a little bit of a greater risk of attacking us right the um, ai the npcs well not the npcs but the you know the minor ai units there anyway that's that uh happiness in instant we got an event production happiness event in colony increased by 100 percent good um we don't have anything scheduled actually in instant we got to look at that is the Kanaganex, it, it's, it's a first sector now. Yeah, we have foreign population. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. What do we do about that? If you look at the map, Allardon is taken. Was that taken before? I don't think it was. I don't think it was by the Hugh, our friend there. 
I'm pretty sure Hugh Yang did not have that before. Okay, that's fine. So which one do we take? What do we have? We have here a Veil of Tranquility Hazard. But you know, it's not at all bad, right? Plus 8 happiness. Um, minus 200 research. Research, right? We don't want to reduce our research. That's why I kind of want to stay away from this one. If we do stay away from it, though, what if we go take this one instead? Here we get Transmission Tower, uh, Resource Node, more influence, always good, right? And then here, teleporter. Might be good to control this one. Yeah, I may want to take this one. Don't think we can take this stuff in the ocean yet. We need something else to do that. Yeah, I think we do. Well, maybe we can, actually. Hmm. But, oh, there's a Marauder unit there, too. But that's a ocean one only. Okay, we'll take this one, I think, right? Should we do that? Yeah, I think we should. So we need an armor to go up there and then take it. That's all. And I did have that one owl, right? But now it's dead. So we'll take the one, the one I have here. Yeah. We'll take that one and go down here. Where is it? There. It's going to be outside his range, but next turn, I guess, we'll take it. And what are we? One turn away from getting another one here. That's going to be the Ray Belt. Research academics. So I'd say we move the other units up, start to get ready. Let's go close to the ray belt because we have to be there anyway to take over that and make them an offer. You know, uh, give them the uh, offer to take take over that uh, sector in return for influence. Obviously. Okay, so that's pretty good. Production is done. What do we get now? Well, let's look at our buildings. Recreational Dome is Happiness. Right now, Happiness is plus six. It's still fine. Improved military infrastructure. We don't need that. No more of the colony uh, militia, I don't think. Combat Simulation Center. What does that do again? VR. Grants two experience per turn to all units in any stack currently on or adjacent to the colony center. X. We're not going to be down here very much, right? Peter Defense Turret is for defensive. It's good to get that, but uh, Monuments for the Paragon. We could do that too to speed that up. That's what we're doing up in... Winston, right? Military skirmish barracks. That's more... You know what? I don't see anything directly. Maybe get the recreational dome. I think so, right? One turn. Yeah, let's do that. And I think that's all we're going to do there. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next turn. Objective complete. O2, a lost age completed. Oh, we did complete that. Okay, the monuments for the Paragon. Okay, great. Um, so we gained a little bit of relations with them, a little bit of influence, and a Paragon Soldier. Must have been showing up then in Winston, I think, and then Energy. Energy is good. That's going to be making plus 82 now. We'll take the reward for sure. So we'll take that, and Empire Task, the Operator Unlocked. Oh, okay. The quest here. What is this one? Research the Operation Effectiveness 1 skill. Use the Strategic Operation. Oh, I forgot to use my tactical ones. Use a covered operation and use a doctrine. Um, okay, we used a doctrine. I guess we already had a doctrine there. You know what? That's something else I want to do. Use more doctrines, right? All right, well, so that's available. The operator, was it? Yeah. Okay, we'll put him there. Actually, we can go in here. I just now noticed. Show rankings. Ew. Yeah, not doing great. 7 out of 8, but that's to be expected. Actually, we can look at this here. Well, we can't see too much, right? Unknown commander. I guess I can't see how they're doing. Non-allied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless infiltrate their operations center. We gotta do, th do that. Uh, use the infiltrate operations center. Covert operation. Interesting. You may want to do that on the bug, right? It's a covert operation. Operations available for priming. Hmm, don't have it. Native threat. Hmm. Doctrines, this is what I was talking about before. What do I do here? You know, hmm. because we completed these, we have bonuses we can do. The emissary. Always good. I should have done this one. 100% more influence from quests. Hmm, that would have been a good one to have. Okay. Well, I can't have it actually prime them yet. The, oh, I have one doctrine active. Wow, oh, that's right. The emissary is active. I'm getting that. Okay, never mind. I keep forgetting that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ops ready to prime. Two of them. Strategic ones. Okay, deploy monitor. 
Hmm, coverage. Uh, I mean, vision range. Native threat. Don't think I need it. Not right now. Air if surveillance. You want to improve your Research. capabilities. You don't just set a goal. You must also monitor it. Only by carefully watching your progression, guarding against backsliding, can you achieve solid success. Tony Rubio Strong, Manpower and Machine Motivational Consulting. Yeah, and this is our uh, one basic read, one of those first level research we did. So deploy a monitor. A monitoring station appears on the targeting hex. Okay, that's what we got now. That's what we can do it. Native threat, capability ranking. Oh, so this is why we can see it. Capability ranking. Hmm. That is very actually good to have. I like this one a lot. Okay. New research. What do we get in society? We have aquatic deployment. We may want to do this one. Three turns. Let's do it. Handle hero join offer. Oh, remember we have those uh, hero modifications that we can do? Samuel Mendes wants to join you. He has one of those bikes. Hero, that's 150 energy. We have 548. Request another hero. We want to do that. We can examine him. Focus laser array. And wild field, wide field laser array as well. Close combat. He has a tactical repair rig. I could use him put uh, that other rig on. The, the Not the tactical one, but the one for uh, biological units. Would be good, right? Would be good to do that. We could put him in the same army as Robert, for instance, and do help out. Or as William. He can come up and help, you know, uh, heal William. It's possible. He's a heavy unit. He won't take it be... Well, I don't know if he would be, as a hero, he would actually be affected by the special ability that Robert has, you know, with the light commander anyway. Hmm. I think I'll take him. We'll take him. And there he is. If I now give him another mod... Tactical aid rig. Yeah, that's all I can get. Nanite injector. I can buy that. Yeah, 16 and 8 cost might. 125 cost might. You know, he has two more slots. Tactical aid is what? 7, 25, 21 more health. You once per battle. We'll do it. He can use it on his himself, I guess, right? That's true. He can use it on himself. Same thing with uh, William Civets. You know what? We'll do confirm load on him. Can I? Do we have another one of those? I don't think we do, right? Now nah, I gotta do the tactical repair rig. Hmm. He can't help do that on himself. He can get a nanite injector though. Fifteen. I want to get this one. I'll get that one. Let's take it. Hundred seventeen there. We're gonna go down now and go take the Raybelt Research Academics, but you know what? I'm out of time. I have to stop here, so I'll come back next time. We'll pick it up then, guys.